Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today, again, it's bright and early, have some cash on the front seat and we're heading off to buy something. So let's jump right into this video and see what I purchased. Well there you have it guys, the new race trailer. Perfect, all right, I gotta drive home and then we'll go over it. Well guys, we have made it home and look at this. This is the Luma 8218XL. People are gonna say, why did you sell your trailer if you're gonna buy another one? Very good question. Um, and for that, I have no answer for you. <laughs> but I did learn a couple things about my other trailer, which I made sure this one did have. My other trailer did not have removable fenders. So this baby has removable fenders. You can take them both off, both sides. Fantastic, love that. It also has the ramps in the rear. My other trailer had ramps in the front, which was just a pain carrying them back and forth. They are pretty heavy, so that is nice. I do like that about this trailer. Something that I wasn't looking out for, but happened to get, is this has uh, LED lights, four of them on each side and then in the front so you can illuminate the bottom of your car at like, I don't know, driving at car shows or <laughs> driving down. So that's kind of cool. The tire mount on my old trailer was great, but lifting tires so high is, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. So I'm gonna actually put the tires along the front here and I'll strap them down. I think I am gonna add some E-tracks down here. I don't necessarily like hooking uh, cars up with this, but we'll see how it goes. It is super low compared to my other trailer, so that's better. But these are also eight foot ramps. So for low cars, this should be much better than getting onto my other trailer. My other trailer was a dovetail, but still this uh, should work out a lot better. So. That is the profile of the trailer. I think it looks slick. And then this is a perfect area for all my tools and potentially I can even keep the tires in here if I needed extra tires. But uh, yeah, this is the trailer. So I am going to go get my Corvette and I'm gonna put it on the trailer and see how it looks. Alrighty, well guys, the front lip is pretty low, so I need to use these blocks. If this setup works, I'll just cut some, I don't know, four or two by sixes or two by fours, so I don't have to keep doing this. But let's see if it works now. All right guys, well it is another day. Uh, the camera died and then I got busy so I didn't finish the other video, but as you can see, the Corvette is on the trailer. These ramps are long, they're good, but they're a little bit too short because the Corvette overhangs just, just a tad too much. So I did order, I think two foot uh, little ramps to help put the Corvette on, but let's take a look at it. So I actually love how it is still lower than the Jeep Gladiator when Corvette's on the actual trailer. It's about uh, four inches or three inches lower. And that's a stock height, the uh, Rubicon Jeep Gladiator. So I have taken the, obviously it's not strapped down now, but I did strap it down and I did drive around with the Jeep Gladiator towing the car, which I was pretty impressed. You know, with a car trailer, it's different to a camper or a boat because there's not much tongue weight because they let the car rest all the weight on the actual axles. Obviously you still want tongue weight, but relatively speaking, there is not much tongue weight compared to my camper. But the Gladiator towed it well. So now I am going to, I think, put on the, the E-Tracks uh, so I can actually strap like I did with my R32 around the tire here instead of going around the rim or trying to get into uh, uh, a mounting point in the front or the rear. Uh, right now I am using straps that hook right there and go around the rim and then ideally you want a crisscross pattern. Uh, 
I just that bumper is is too low to go from that mounting point to this wheel in the back it's possible let's take a look yeah you see how there's so much more space so you can wrap from that back wheel to that which I'll probably do I'll crisscross in the rear and not crisscross in the front um, that's why I want to put those e-tracks on here so what I have figured out is I do not have to remove the fenders with the Corvette I can't open the door all the way it clears the rear fender but then opens about halfway and I can squeeze in and out so that is good now inside of the cabinet here uh, here are my straps these are what I'm using right now to lift the ramps up and that's just a leveling kit I had for the camper that I just keep in here because I don't need it uh, in the camper and in case I need to change a tire that has all the leveling blocks in there to help me change a tire what is cool about this trailer is uh, it has it's, its own battery and you can see when it's charging or when it's full charged uh, and that controls the LEDs down here I will put a clip so there's LEDs there I'll put a clip in the video showing you what the LEDs uh, look like lighting up the car at night you can't really see it now but I'll cue to that right now it's not dark enough now but there are the under lights here you go night time the lights on kind of pointless kind of cool obviously looks different not on camera so why did I put it back on the trailer well I'm taking it to MPC a local uh, shop here that has worked on my R8 uh, all my cars essentially just doing random things from alignment to exhausts to all the things I don't want to do uh, they're gonna do a PPI my PPI is gonna be a post purchase inspection and just gonna tell me everything right or wrong with the Corvette they are also gonna do a brake fluid flush because I have a track day already booked for May 20th I'm taking this to Road America and uh, that should be fun um, so that's why I just want them to check it out make sure everything looks good uh, before I go on a track and also get the brake fluid with a better brake fluid for high performance uh, braking so let me know what you think about in the comments uh, about my <laughs> trailer here it is crazy uh, I think it's much better than my other one it is more expensive than my other one but I do like it obviously I have lost the tire rack storage in the front and the gas can storage but I think this is much slower it tows better less tongue heavy uh, and overall I like it much better and it, I think it complements <laughs> the Corvette pretty well so anyways guys thanks a lot for tuning into the channel be sure you hit the like and subscribe because there are a lot of adventures coming along with the trailer and the Corvette so let me know if you have any questions below and until next time i'll see you there